Hello everyone! Hi! This is a review of a game called Pine that is free now from Epic. So thank you for joining us. My name is Caleb. My name is Michal. And this is Should You Play It? Should you play it with Pine? Let's jump right game, into it. The RPG that Caleb reminds me of two games. One is a Fable. Oh. I don't know if you know this one. I that do was know. like Xbox. I played the first, first one. Yeah. The Wishels and uh, Legend of Zelda, of course. Legends of Legends of Zelda, like Breath of the Wild, yes. The the, the visual style feels like Breath of the Wild, but as soon as you start to get into the game, to hear what the world is about, to hear about the lore, my here's if you watch just 30 seconds of this review. This is a children's version of Horizon Zero Dawn. Really? That's it. That, I, haven't, I, I haven't played it, so I can't say. I know you did, so... I mean... You, but wait, there are no, like, uh, big uh, animal robots. Minus the, like, robot dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you have other, like, civilizations. This one looks a little bit like from Horizon. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. yeah him, it's the, hard the, to yeah. catch, but But it's there. you have, like, other tribes of anapomorphic animals that you anthropomorphic animals that you speak to it's a post-apocalyptic world where human society has kind of been destroyed but now you're trying to come back into a world that has been taken over by you other species a, you have actually you are the last tribe of humans a group yep. of humans yep. and you can communicate with other clans with different species mm -hmm. and you can be either in uh, favor of them or to be in Combat in battle, in battle. Yeah. friends or enemies, and you can yeah. affect the relationships. There are vaults, which is a big part of Horizon Zero Dawn. To Epic Games out. Vault, unfortunately, not in this case. <laughs> okay, but um, that's a big part of Horizon Zero Dawn is getting into mm. the vaults, solving the puzzles, and figuring mm. out like what the ancient human civilization was doing. That's what you're doing. Seems Here. like this game is trying to be too many things because it's an RPG, it's crafting game, it's exploring game, it's fighting game, it's so many things. Well, and I, before we get to should you play it, I also wanted to ask a little bit more about those mechanics because there's it's true, there's a lot going on. It looks like a pretty simple game, but it's quite ambitious. Like mm -hmm. the relationship mechanics mm -hmm. is quite complicated. Not only does your relationship with all the different tribes change, but their relationship with each other mm -hmm. is constantly evolving. And sometimes you see different species fighting, sometimes working together. Right now. Yeah. Right? Um, and the crafting is also quite complex. Yeah, but it's kind of hardcore because it doesn't lead you like yeah. where to go exactly and what to do there. You have to kind of find out on your own. Yeah. So Caleb, the question is, should you play Pine or should you not? May I go first? <laughs> you have a list, okay. <clears throat> sure. Look, this is going to be a long video. There, there are a lot of things wrong with this game. It is not finished. It's not polished. It feels it feels very indie. It feels like better version. The, the combat is the opposite of smooth. Mm -hmm. uh, it's and it's true. When you win, it feels more like button smashing. They had a combat system behind it, but it doesn't really work. Mm -hmm. There's only one enemy type besides the tribes, the one that you just saw. Mm -hmm. The uh, frogs. Kind the of. story is kind of confusing, honestly. The, the names for the different items doesn't make a lot of sense. There's clipping. The number of times I got stuck in the scenery and had to load a previous game, which usually drives me crazy. Didn't happen to me. It okay. happened probably you once. You can jump in this game, right? I was jumping... You know. Okay. Yeah, but I was jumping a lot into places where I shouldn't be jumping. Ah, and usually this that. drives me crazy. <laughs> um, the platforming is awful. <laughs> Wait, Caleb, is there, there is there a good thing about there this are game? puzzles that you're supposed to like jump around and like spend ten minutes, and you can just bypass them. You know, in games when you think you can? if I can just jump up this hill, I could like jump right into the platform. But no, they thought of that. I can't do it. In this game, you can, but you shouldn't be able to. Uh, like, <laughs> a lot of things. But you know what? Is there some uh, good things? There the are. Okay, should I, I could find list, the list? I could list the good things. Okay. But it's not about the good things. It's not? It's about the atmosphere of this game as a whole. Uh, I got into it much more than I expected and was constantly thinking, oh, I wish this was better, I wish this was better, oh, there's so much potential there. Mm. But I spent much more time than I expected mm. playing it, and there's a lot more to play. Mm -hmm. And I think it's because... And which it, part of the game did you get most uh, attached 
is it the finding exploring, exploring exploring it is an exp- okay. it is an exploration game it does exploration very well and i like exploring and the fact is horizon zero dawn is my favorite game ever mm-hmm. so a cheap indie <laughs> knockoff version of horizon zero dawn why not i'm in yes i think you should play this it has i wouldn't say it's has something special to offer but it's free and it's kind of fun and it's memorable so i recommend giving it a try okay uh you were really prepared i am um, <laughs> i'm shocked more list do you want I more like shocked. i can go to the other side of the list like uh, i i think you covered most of my thoughts <laughs> sorry <as> well <laughs> i had the same feeling like this could be a really great game i mean the team was probably small yeah. and they had this idea great idea of big large game with great mechanics so many but mechanics lack either money or mm. so resources time. or time yeah. or everything and we end up with uh, an indie game trying to be triple a but failing on all the levels yeah. but the feeling of the game mm. that it is a good game is still there because of this world exploring mm-hmm. music too and right. all the small details so i'm giving it yes as well i am surprised even though this game looks like it could have a multiplayer this is a single player only and the most fun is probably with the tribes and yeah. the interactions there but even that feels like it's unfinished. I, I, and I got stuck so many times yeah. in this game, but you could have made some tutorials that I'm, actually yeah. would help me because I didn't get to the first wall. I don't Not know to what, the first what, vault. I did get okay. there, but I didn't know what to do there. Okay. The gate was closed. And I so, actually made a full walkthrough yeah. of how to get into the first vault and how to yeah. get through the first vault. And I think if you manage that, then yeah. It becomes simpler moving. I, I moving think you forward. did only the parts that I got stuck on, so that could be that could be really useful. Yeah. Well, we hope you found that useful. It doesn't. It, this is not the best game ever. This is just our. Opinions. It is not worst game ever. It since is we defi- both said yes. Definitely not the worst game ever. I would spend a lot more time in this game, constantly thinking I wish it was better. Um, I don't know if it's worth paying twenty or thirty dollars for. It, it, I didn't get so far. So did you get over the map? Is there yeah, something more? I saw, I saw all of the, oh the, the island. Yeah, I think it's just the island. Okay. okay. But there's four different, five different regions. Yeah. They all feel very different. Also, it looks like kind of Rise and Zero yeah. Dawn. <laughs> it looks it looks big because you can see like all the island from like from the top of the mountain. It's not that big actually. Kinda, it's not that big, yeah. but it's it feels it, big. It's well filled. It's not yeah, stuffed it's with things, yeah. but it feels populated. It yeah. feels like something's happening there. Mm-hmm. So it's. It's since it's free now, especially it's worth giving it a try. Yeah, so let us know in the comments if you think that this is your type of game. After you try it, let us know if you agree with us or disagree with us. I think you're gonna guys try it just because it looks really pretty. Uh, it, uh, it is a lot of uh, locations mm-hmm. and yeah, yeah. This is a good game worth to try. One thing that I didn't. I, you're right. This is gonna be a long video, but. <laughs> There's actually a lot of replayability because to make the walkthroughs, I started the game from the beginning to go through the vaults again. And what I realized very quickly is that the types of civilizations that are in the different areas Mm -hmm. is random at the beginning of the game. Mm -hmm. So I got used to the foxes being in this part and the Mm -hmm. alligators being over there. And when Mm -hmm. I restarted the game from the very beginning, they were in completely different areas. And it actually feels different. And and you can actually, like extend some of the mm-hmm. clans so they will be gone from the map completely yep. so yeah there's something there's, about this game that is uh, like there's something that there, is not some, in other games yeah there's some That's very good ideas we there gave it, yes yeah all right thank you very much for watching uh we hope that by now you are subscribed if not we cover every free game from the epic game store and let you know our opinions about only it. only from epic so if you want from other sources like steam gog uh, other ubisoft check out our friend low budget gaming <laughs> <laughs> and let's end with our member list yes because we have more streams to make and i am going to put the link for our next stream you don't have to kill it no this time it's connected oh <laughs> if you Should are be. if you are in the live stream yeah. right now yes. just wait just wait like put your put your legs up like ah! this and in
Look at this stream. Socks with sandals. <laughs> now you know for sure that he's a real Czech. <laughs> well, you just like the sandals, but with the socks. I'm wearing socks. Yeah. We're indoors. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm American, but I'm not going to wear my shoes indoors in the Czech Republic. Thank anyway. you. Thank you. <laughs> We will see you all in the next stream where we are going to find out if Epic Games announces the Vault Games. Vault Games. We're going to find out. Join us. Yeah, join us. See you soon. Bye.